Hello, this is Super Cool Time for another Super Cool Reviews. Well, I've been in on a hiatus for a very long time. I thought now it's a good time to come back. So, the review for today. 35 years ago, oh, in Japan, one of Akira Toriyama's mangas got made into an anime and has since been one of the most popular animes of all time. Even in the West, it's 35 years later it's still going. And yes, I'm talking about the Dragon Ball franchise. It's been going on for a long, long time. It's never going to be going away. Even after the series ended for a while, the popularity, it still kept going. And in honor for its 35th anniversary, I might as well talk about one of its OVAs. Dragon Ball Z, Bardock, the father of Goku, the official Dragon Ball prequel at the time before it was retconned in the Broly movie. Anyway, the plot is we follow Bardock, a Saiyan voiced by Sunny Strait. He and his crew usually go off what the Saiyans do. They destroy planets, sell them to the highest bidder, yada yada yada. After invading a planet, he gets hit with the visions of the future, and after his whole crew dies, as by Frieza's will, he plans on revenge and you can probably guess how it ends. I mean, it's so obvious how you know how it's going to end. And, I mean, and because if he survived, none of this would have happened. The Dragon Ball story would have just ended there. Let's talk about the pros. One is the animation. It's glorious, even by today's standards. And keep in mind, this was like 30-something years ago. Well, depending on when the OVA was made, and it honestly has better animation than most anime movies nowadays. I also thought the soundtrack is better. I thought only in the Japanese, since the English soundtrack back in the day, Dragon Ball Z movies would usually use whose their own soundtracks composed and other real life songs by other artists like Disturbed and so forth. And I don't mind it, but it doesn't really match the tone. Like, oh, and the dubbing on the other hand is, it's all right for what it is. I mean, it's early 2000s and yeah, it's aged well. It hasn't aged well during time, but you gotta admit at the time it was good. Good. The story, it's all right. Hey, the only problem is what is like the race of aliens that give Bardock the visions of future. It's just honestly mostly there for plot device, you know, since we all know what's going to happen. And since Plan Vegeta is going to get destroyed by Frieza, Goku's going to get sent to Earth, he's going to be raised by. Hey, Grandpa Gohan, we know this before since it's already been told. But overall, I like this movie. I'm going to give Dragon Ball Z Bardock, Father of Goku, a 72 out of 100. This is super cool, signing off.